Yo, and hello everyone. Welcome back to Mama Jaden's Kitchenette. Are you this kind of person that loves tasty food? You know what? As usual, Rasta woman, mom of two, wife to one, queen of recipes herself. She is about to grace your amazing screens with some educative content. And so guys, for the very first time, we are away from our kitchen. The background is speaking for itself. It means definitely we are about to do something a bit different that is not kitchen that is not in the kitchen. And so guys, <coughs> on this particular moment, looking at my face, you can tell. I'm even closing my eyes, guys. You don't know how that feeling is. Because I feel so happy, I feel so blessed, I feel satisfied, I feel contented, I feel complete, guys. By now you guys are already asking, why is she feeling, feeling, feeling? I still feel, I feel like I'm the right mother to talk to. That mom who is about to give up on six months of exclusive breastfeeding. I feel like I'm that mother my children deserve. And when I say that, it doesn't mean I'm making any mom feel lesser of a mom. In fact, we all know everyone's mom is the best. Yes, everyone's mom is the best. And so guys, every other parent has their own reasons as to why uh, they give their children or they offer to their children whatever it is that they offer them. And so guys, uh, this uh, particular evening, just allow me to congratulate myself because you know what guys, you know what, I accomplished my goal and yay, I made it to six months of exclusive breastfeeding, not for the first time but for the second time now. I did it with my first born and I also, I've also made it with my second born. And so guys, no pressure. Uh, I'm just here to encourage every other mom out there who is about to give in to myths and misconceptions that uh, uh, in six months of exclusive breastfeeding is not possible. I'm here to encourage you, dear mom, it is very, very, very much possible. I've done it, so many other moms have done it. Who are you not to do it? And so this evening I just got from work. Uh, I've had my warm shower as usual. Then I'm about to sit down to begin to express milk for my baby. Then something just trickles in my head. And I'm like, why not make this day memorable? You know, tonight at around 9.40, 10.45 there, my baby girl will be turning six months old. And so guys, uh, I, I, I figured, girl, why not? You need to get you need to get that camera rolling so that you can uh, express milk with your YouTube fans. And so, guys, that is how much I love you, you guys. And so, this evening, no pressure. I know many a times moms get to the internet. You see people advertising uh, maybe uh, milk storage bags. They have uh, expressed 360 ml, and you are like, is this really? possible yes it is no pressure if you have to sit down there and express let's say 30 ml that is what you've got and feel proud congratulate yourself don't feel like you are lesser of a mom and so this evening no pressure we want to express on both our breasts and the, the storage bags i'm using they are designed to uh, store 200 ml of milk and so we are just targeting to make a hundred a hundred on every so I'm going to do the practical part, but uh, to make the video not that boring, I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips that have worked with me, uh, with baby number one, with baby number two, as we continue with our expressing video. And so guys, uh, some of the tips that have worked for me, there are quite several. Uh, in case I happen not to mention any one of them, you will find them in the description box. So, there's this one tip that has worked for me ever since with baby number one. I got to discover, uh, you need to study the kind of meals you eat, then you'll get to discover the type of food that you eat, and then you will express a lot of milk. For my case, it is chapati. I know someone is already saying, ah, she's going to add weight, I know. But for my babies, I'll do it exercise later. And so for me, chapatis have worked for me. And if you are that person who is looking forward to exclusive breastfeeding, just 
try to study the pattern of the foods that you eat, you will get to know which kind of food that makes you to express a lot of milk. Uh, another tip that has worked for me is drinking a lot of water. In fact, uh, should I call them nutritionists or those individuals who have done research, they do say uh, breast milk, 80% of it is just water, then 20% is uh, the other contents. So I discovered drinking a lot of water, uh, when it comes to expressing, you will have to express a, a lot of milk as per the need of your baby. Then another, and when I say drinking a lot of water, this is how you get to know that you are drinking, uh, should I say more than enough water. Uh, when you go to the toilet to pee, uh, before you even uh, flush the toilet, the water that normally remains on the toilet bowl should be as clean as clean water. Your urine should be that clean. That way you get to know you are drinking a lot of water, a lot enough to enable you to produce a lot of milk for your baby. Another tip that has also worked for me, and this one I got to discover with baby number two, is... Um, <laughs> it is quite tricky for us ladies because after carrying pregnancy for nine months, uh, you give birth, you're looking forward to your baby, go your body going back to normal, you need to achieve that uh, sexy figure you had before you became pregnant, you want to look good before your friends, you want when you get out of there, people will be like, Pukai Uliza. But again, shock on me, I discovered you need to eat. And when I say you need to eat, guys, you need to eat. Imagine milk with fasting or milk with dieting, they are not in the same WhatsApp group. So baby girl, if you have to do this, you have to sacrifice, you just have to eat. And when I say eating, you have to eat. That is all. Another tip that has also worked for me, uh, let's say you've gotten into the expressing session, maybe you tried for the first five, six minutes and milk is not coming out. One, you, if you are using a manual pump, you can get it off your breast. If it is electric, you can switch it off and then you just get to relax and begin to uh, massage around the nipple area. Uh, if you that relaxed, if you that stress-free, imagine in like three, four minutes, milk will begin to flow and you will proceed the usual way to express milk. Another tip that has also worked for me is uh, uh, let's say also you are expressing then you notice milk is not coming out as per your needs. Uh, what you need to do, you can maybe you have your phone with you, you even notice in my video um, with my phone. You just get your phone then go through maybe it fits your gallery. Uh, get to look for a picture of the baby that you are expressing milk for. Have to stare at that, that, that particular picture or maybe you have several go through the pictures of your baby. I think it uh, gets to send a signal to your body uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, you are expressing milk and uh, milk will begin to flow. If that, all that doesn't work, another thing that you can do Maybe baby is, with the, is around the house and you are expressing. Maybe you're not expressing from the workplace, you're at home, baby is around. Another thing you can do if milk is not coming out, you can request for the baby to come. Then she, he or she lactates on one breast as you express uh, another breast. And so guys, uh, those are some of the tips that have worked for me. Uh, as I said, this is not the first time I'm doing this, it is my second time. So. Basically, I would say it is doable. And uh, any other person who has done this, you have some other tips, feel free to comment on this video. Let's educate one another. Let's encourage uh, those who are, uh, willingly, uh, who are willing to exercise six months of exclusive breastfeeding. Uh, let's leave them those comments so that they can get to, to, so that they can get to use those tips to be able to achieve their goals. And so guys, Along this journey, should I say, uh, when it comes to six months of exclusive breastfeeding, maybe I have a, a full year's experience, because if six plus six, that is 12, it's about a year of experience uh, with exclusive breastfeeding. So along this journey, there are some misconceptions, or should I call them myths, 
that have always come across. Some of these things I've been hearing them even from my close friends. I'm sure when they watch this video, they will laugh <laughs> because these are some of the questions they've been asking me. This friend, this friend of mine that was asking, is it true uh, when you express milk, even blood can come out? For me, I would say no, because the two times I've done it, nothing of that kind has happened to me. And as usual, pumps do come with instructions, so what you need to do, you need to read those instructions before you begin to use them, uh, to use that, those particular pumps. And uh, among us, the instructions that I saw on these pumps, uh, they do say in the event of uh, expressing and you feel pain, what you need to do, if it's manual, get it off your breast as fast as you can. If it's electric, get to switch it off immediately. So it means, uh, if it's painful, get it off your breast. If you feel something that seems not to be right, the solution is just to get the pump off your breast. But for me, blood has never come out. And if anyone is watching, watching this video, and you have tried it and blood came out, feel free also to share with us. We need to know these things, we need to hear this means, we need to know if it's a fact. Feel free, feel free to comment. Uh, then another thing that um, also my friends have been asking, uh, is it possible to express enough meal to, for a, a human being to make enough meal to express and uh, for baby to feed, to, to feed the, to, uh, directly to your breast? Uh, is a human being in that position to make that kind of milk? What I would say, it is yes, because as I said earlier, milk is about eating. You eat enough, you are able to make a lot of milk, even I should say you are able to make extra. Because I realized when I was uh, still at home uh, during the maternity leave, I would express a lot more than uh, the time I went back to work because going back to work it means you are not going to eat the same way you've been eating while in the house. So it means if you eat you'll just be able to meet your baby's demand. Uh, another thing that uh, they've been asking, uh, there's this myth that they do say, uh, I don't know, boys do lactate more than girls. I, th I think those are just perceptions that people do put in place because for me, if I'm to compare, my firstborn is a boy, he's three years now, then the second born is a girl, she'll be turning six months tonight as I told you. And if I'm to compare the feeding, uh, the, feed, the way the two have been feeding, I think baby girl is a better feeder more than uh, baby boy. If I told there's something like feeder, I don't know. But he feeds more than as per how baby boy did it. And so I've been able to meet that demand. So you should not put yourself in that comfort, comfort zone uh, saying, because your baby is a boy, you won't make it because boys do feed a lot. I don't think if that is true. Also feel free to comment on to this video on how your experience has been. But what I would say that is just a perception. Babies are different. Uh, we don't have to judge babies based on the gender. Another thing, they also say you cannot, uh, if baby feeds on milk for, or, or exclusively on milk for six months, they don't get satisfied. For me, I would say, I, I don't think if that is true, because all my clinic visits with both my two babies, they know, there's no single day I've gone to the clinic and I've been told my baby is underweight. In fact, their weight is uh, that big until the nurses are like, have you begun giving this baby food? Because uh, uh, some of them will be like, oh, you are giving them formula. But it is just my milk that I've expressed. So that uh, gets to justify or gets to, to, to tell us that uh, uh, breast milk is enough for six months. Because if they were not getting satisfied, then they wouldn't be gaining weight. They wouldn't be looking healthy. But they are healthy with just milk. And then during this journey, there are also some funny uh, things that I've, get to, I've got to hear. And uh, one of them, uh, I think with baby number two, I went back to work when baby was around three months. So there was someone in the house taking care of the kids. Then I felt uh, this work is quite a lot. So I had to bring some additional person uh, to help in taking care of the kids. So... Uh, during the first two days she was observing because I used to come home in the evening, say hi to them, then I request them to bring the 
pump accessories on my bedroom door as I take a bath then I would get them later to express so the first day she watched the second one then the third one she was like uh, uh, why is it when Mama J comes home she heads straight to her bedroom she has not been with the baby the whole day she doesn't say hi to the baby uh, what does she go to do in her bedroom then the other one was like you know uh, she is expressing milk for the baby then she was like <laughs> I'm already laughing. Then she was like, does she have a cow in her bedroom? <laughs> Guys, even my camera guy is laughing at that. Isn't it funny? And so she was told, no, she's just trying to milk her own milk. Then she was like, you mean even human beings can milk themselves? So it was a whole lot of discussion. Then according to her, you know the way we package uh, our breast milk, it looks very appealing to the eye so according to her she was like maybe this is cow milk bought somewhere especially or this milk is packaged somewhere special uh, specifically meant for small babies uh, later in this video i'll show you how i do package my milk and then there's this day i went to visit a close relative i think baby was around four months another funny episode and then this uh, a uh, relative of ours was like, uh, baby is uh, four months now and uh, according to, we know you've already gone to work, you work from eight to five and we can't see you feeding baby anything and we know there is no formula in your house. So how does the baby survive when you are away? Then I was like, ah, nowadays uh, things have changed, technology has grown, what I do, I just express my milk, leave behind and the nanny will deal with that. And then they were like, and then she was like, eh, so how many liters of milk do you milk in a day? <laughs> Isn't that funny too? It is not about liters. It's just uh, a, a few emails. I've never heard of even the ones who, that are normally advertised on the internet. I've never seen anyone who has uh, expressed liters. It's just ML. The most I've seen maybe 500 ML in a day. But not liters, guys. And so, guys, that has been uh, has been about our video. I hope this has been educative. I hope this is going to help a mom somewhere who is confused. Maybe they are first time moms. They don't know what to do. Uh, they want to give their children the best, but they honestly don't know where to start from. I'm here to encourage you because by now I know I have said encourage, encourage for so many times yes i'm here to encourage you moms it can be done the moment you get on to expressing you get 30 ml congratulate yourself tell yourself congratulations because that is what you got uh don't feel lesser of a mom maybe you saw on the internet someone had uh, expressed 360 or 400 or 500 whatever you get congratulate yourself you just the more you do it you'll gain experience You'll do it even better, you'll get to learn so many other things. Then another thing, expressing is not only for working moms. Expressing is for every other mom who has given birth. Maybe uh, you are nursing stitches in your house. Uh, uh, you need some space out of there because I understand just being indoors, taking care of baby at times, it becomes tiresome. It becomes, a, 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 you need that space to breathe. You need to do baby, you need manicure, you need... Uh, a good hairstyle but when you think of getting out there you like so uh, what is baby going to feed on while i'm away you see if you had expressed me you would go do this th those things comfortably and uh, those you are leaving behind will take care of your baby you'll be away and baby will be feeding on your milk and then another thing that i can add on with expressing you need to be extremely clean another thing that i've done during the, 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 the expressing journey, uh, imagine my utensils are never washed with anyone else apart from me. Even if uh, they are going to use in a day five tips, they are just put in some clean water somewhere. I'll come in the evening, I'll do the washing myself, I'll sterilize those utensils by myself. Uh, even if there are ten people in the house or even five people in the house, cleanliness. Continue. I was saying I don't want that 
scenario in the house where we have that blame game oh i didn't do this you are the one who washed this it didn't get clean that's why i do the cleanliness by myself so i think that video has been educative i think that video uh, is going to leave someone somewhere encouraged it could be your sister it could be the woman in your life it could be that mother you know somewhere that is struggling on how to go about you can refer them to mama jaden's kitchenette there's this useful video they can get to watch and change their perception about exclusive breastfeeding and so guys why don't you leave me a sweet comment on this video why don't you like this video why don't you share it and guys the only favor you can do to me today in this video is to subscribe. Guys, just subscribe, 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 subscribe and get a girl to 5,000 subscribers. I would really, 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 really appreciate. And so I don't take it for granted to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks, thanks. May God bless you. May God expand you. May God uh, fulfill your heart's desires. And to those who haven't subscribed, you are missing a lot. Make this home. Come, let's share so many other things. Apart from cooking, uh, we can be sharing some other stuff like the one that I just uh, shared. And so guys, this video is going to be a determinant. A determinant if we shall be using, doing any other video away from the kitchen. We can see maybe Saturdays before cooking or the weekend before cooking then... Uh, uh, somewhere along the week we do something away from the kitchen like we've done today and so That is it about this video from the title of this video I know you've been uh, eager to know which is this expensive gift that I've ever bought my children Because if I show you the whole of this video, it's going to be too long. You're going to get bored and uh, you will uh, get to maybe to go away before you finish this video so stay tuned for part two that is where you get to know where uh, uh, what this gift is so guys thank you for watching this video to the end and bye bye